Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not subscribed to Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the review. And what I have for you today is a brand new upgrade set from Firetox for Nemesis Prime. And I cannot wait to get these all attached. These look awesome. This set includes two trailer supports, a roller launcher, a weapon rack or weapon platform for the trailer for the big silver guns he has, two blasters for the drone, a drone vehicle, two saw blades, the nemesis roller, an awesome looking ion cannon with a chainsaw bayonet, a radar dish, and minigun for the repair drone as well. So, without further ado, let's get these add-ons attached to the evil Nemesis Prime and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the Ion Blaster, and I love this thing. This looks awesome awesome and that chainsaw bayonet just really adds to the look of this weapon and just really makes it look like it belongs in the hands of someone like nemesis prime and it's also blast effect compatible so that looks really really cool firetox has some great molded details on this that looks great now i took my molotov chrome pin here and went along the teeth on the saw to kind of break that up a little bit. And I do like that. I may go over it a couple more times to get it just right, but I really think that adds to the look. Now let's bring in Nemesis here, put the weapon in his hand and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that looks badass. We'll go ahead and add the blast effect. There you go. So that is the Firetox Ion Blaster with Chainsaw Bayonet. Now let's move on to the trailer attachments. The first accessory I'm going to show off is the weapons mount. And this is a pretty simple attachment right here. You've got two 5mm pegs on top and a 5mm hole there on the top and on each side. And how this works is you take the big Nemesis Prime cannon and make sure and attach it via the top peg, so you attach that one and the other here. And you wanna make sure and attach the cannons so they're facing forward from this little circle right here. Otherwise, this attachment's gonna flip over. And then all you do is attach it right there on top of the trailer. Now, this is mainly gonna be for display because as of right now, there's no way to really attach that good to the trailer. Now, talking to Firetox, he said he's working up a, another version that may attach a lot better. Now, you can use the port here on top and attach Nemesis Prime's sword. Just get that pegged in like so. So, you've got that going on. But, like I said, it's mainly for display. You move this around, it's going to slide right off. Now, another cool feature with this weapon's rack or weapon mount it can also attach to the back of nemesis prime so let's see we'll remove his retail blaster here nemesis prime has those two ports on his back so you just simply take this and pop that in so now you've got nemesis let me zoom out for you with his cannons displayed on his back. Now with this, you can either rotate the cannons forward slightly. They don't go all the way because of the smokestacks. Or you can kind of flip this whole back section up. So you've got that going on. So that's a neat option for Nemesis Prime to really add to his arsenal. 
The next trailer accessories I'm going to show off are these trailer supports. And these are pretty simple pieces as well. These actually come in two parts, but they're glued together. So you've got a arm on a hinge with a foot, if that makes any sense. So how this works is you're going to take your Nemesis Prime trailer and the supports have a little peg right there that you're going to slot into the hole. That's about dead center on the side of the trailer. So let me get that one in. Always easier said than done on camera. So that one's in. You want to make sure the angled section faces in the trailer. And make sure it is shut. So there we go. Those are attached. So that's what it looks like when they're all folded up. To extend them, you just rotate these out. Flip the foot around. Do that on both sides. And there is your extra trailer support. And that really comes in handy when you're opening the trailer up. The sides of the trailer can actually rest on the supports. And that works really, really good. So there is the trailer supports. So now let's move on to the repair drone. We'll start things off by taking a look at the drone's mobile platform. And this is pretty cool. I love the red wheels on the black. Very Nemesis Prime looking. Pretty simple looking piece, but what makes this effective is when you take the drone and attach it. The drone has this peg right here. You're going to attach via that hole. It's a perfect fit and a perfect collar match, and that looks really, really cool. So now the repair drone has some wheels, and I dig that. Now, other drone accessories include the radar dish, which is very reminiscent of Generation 1, and how this slots in is right here on the back of the drone where all those hollow gaps are. You just pop that right in. That's a nice tight fit, so now he's got his radar dish, and now he's got this little minigun attachment. It attaches the same way. Slot it into that gap, push it in so it's nice and tight, and now we've got the drone there with a radar and minigun. But we're not done with this guy yet. The drone also has these two cannon accessories. And those look really, really cool. So how those work is those are gonna plug right into the ports on the front of the drone. You wanna make sure and face the pipes up or the hoses up. So now we got the drone with some serious firepower. And lastly, we've got these awesome saw blades. And how these work, you just clip these into the repair drone's claws. And that is sharp. That's actually poking me in the finger. Get in there. There we go. Now once that pops right in, you've got a very well-armed repair drone with saw blade arms, massive cannons on the front, minigun, and radar dish. I'm really not sure if that qualifies as a repair drone anymore. And one other thing I want to find out, are those guns blast effect compatible? And they are. So that looks awesome. I dig it. You got rollers scooting around. They're not roller, the repair drone, or I'm going to call him the eviscerator drone now. So let's check him out in uh, the trailer. So we'll just go ahead and pop him off his mobile platform. He's on there pretty good. And then you attach him right here to the trailer. So yes, I dig that. That looks sweet. And lastly, we have the Nemesis Roller. This thing looks awesome. Let me get this off the background so we can focus more on roller. I love the details on this guy. He's got the spikes on the front. He's got mini guns on the front. This thing looks awesome. I love the black and the red. Really looks evil. Lots of five millimeter pegs there. So you can actually take Prime's retail weapon. You can attach that there on the back. So now he's got a weapon and what's really cool is if you have some titan masters you can fit titan masters in here 
Actually, let's take the weapon off. Nemesis Roller will accommodate four Titan Masters. You can attach that blaster there on top. And you've got a Titan Master road trip going on. So I dig that. That is awesome. These are some welcome additions to that Nemesis Prime figure. The final trailer accessory I'm going to show off is the Nemesis Roller Launcher. This is kind of a throwback to the original Roller Launcher from the Generation 1 Optimus Prime toy. Lots of nice details on this as well. Now how this attaches to the trailer, it's got this little hole right here that matches up to that peg and it just attaches like so. And how that works is you've got the Nemesis Roller, he's going to roll up and peg into that. Roller's got two peg holes on the back. He'll peg in, and so now he is locked in for transport in the trailer of Nemesis Prime. So another cool addition, thanks to Firetox. I can't thank Firetox enough for sending me this set for Nemesis Prime. I think these really add so much more playability to this figure. I love the Nemesis Roller. I love the drone attachments. I think those are so cool. The chainsaw weapon is just amazing. It just adds a sense of viciousness to Nemesis Prime. The weapons rack or the weapon platform, I wish it would attach better, but as I said, he's working on a second version that who knows, maybe by the time this video airs, it will be available. But still, I love its versatility. You can put it on the trailer. You can attach it to Nemesis Prime himself to really change up his looks. Now, all of these accessories are available for free on Firetox's site if you happen to have a 3D printer. If you would like these items and don't have a 3D printer, please contact Firetox via the links I'm going to have in the description of this video. Once again, Firetox, thank you so much for this set. I absolutely love it. Now, guys, if you love the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!